<laughs> I sweat it's bad. I had to keep going. But anyway, I seen him heat it up and then just stick it on there. And nobody is being precise on putting it in. Like if you had a keyway, it would be it would fit only one way. Uh, so when I went and installed, I found my mark on my crankshaft, and then I lined this up best I could to get with the mark. That's how I know I'm right up here on top of it, and I had enough rope in it. And if it would have been total dead center, it should have been right around in here where it should have went. And I can tell that by just pulling that thing up over there or just looking at it. I don't want to take that bolt out, but I can, when I get number one up, I don't know. And apparently it doesn't matter because I've seen people do it without it, but they say don't oil it. And I see guys oil it. Uh, to me, it would make sense oiling it to get it on there. Plus your seal will not uh, deflect or deviate when you're pushing it on. Uh, it will actually uh, come back out like a little nipple like it's supposed to be. You know, it go on there with no problems. So now I can tighten down the uh, timing cover. Well, first the oil pan, then the timing cover. Uh, we'll get these two on the bottom close down here, and then we'll come up with the oil pan, and then we put these two on right here. That's the only weird way I know to make it seal on the sides and seal at the very bottom in the front. Is do these four right here first. Two on the oil pan, and then two on the uh, timing cover and then work your way around the time cover and work your way around the oil pan. There you go guys.